Hi, welcome, welcome. I'm Glinella and today we are going to build a two bedroom house with just using base game and equal lifestyle. So I am here. We are going to start with the front of the house. I'm going to bring everything. I'm going to put a door. Maybe we can use that one there. I want to put a big window. This one. Oh, I like this one better. I want to put three small windows. Oh, it's the same color. I'm just going to lift this higher. I don't want the window to be on the floor. Oh, maybe something like this would be cool. Maybe like that. Go we'll extend it to the back on this side. The wraparound porch at the front. Yeah. Window. Yep. How about we just leave it like that? <laughs> it's gonna look so weird. Okay, and on this side, I was thinking more of a balcony area and we are definitely gonna have another platform here. Not sure if it's gonna be nice, but let's just see. Maybe a window like this would be nice. Same goes for the other side. It's going to be nice. The white paneling. Eco lifestyle have this kind of thing, but I want just that thing or this one. Okay, we are going to do it like this. I was thinking if we can put some kind of division right there, it's going to be nice. Maybe something like this, you know? Then we can have something like that. Okay, we are going to scrap the idea. <laughs> or maybe. I have an idea here maybe we can do a little bit of this action this to the front and this one as well you know that kind of thing i feel like that's going to be nice yes that's the kind of vibe that i was thinking okay so this is the exterior of our house so for the floor plan i was thinking that this is going to be an entryway and then i'm going to put a bathroom here a kitchen here i'm just going to separate it a little bit our first bedroom is going to go here oh that's too small though right oh we can put the stairs right there yes i want them right there but this bedroom is too small so i'm going to extend it a little bit this is going to be the living area we can have another bedroom upstairs with a toilet okay so this is going to be the entryway maybe we can make it smaller so it it matches with the back we can have the toilet right here it's going to be the kitchen and the dining area living area first bedroom and then upstairs is going to be the second bedroom with a with an ensuite ensuite i don't know how to say it oh this one is nice that is covering the full wall so we are just going to build the toilet first upstairs i was thinking that maybe we can have a closet right here so we can have the bathroom here it's going to be like a walking closet oh my god the door okay i'm just going to put in the furniture first so we know roughly how well is our plan this couch this thing here kitchen this is a big kitchen maybe like that and then we can put something there or maybe we can just remove this the island yes i'm going to use this one because i feel like it matched better and then we can go for the please do you guys have it no oh my god no we don't have a matching one it's so sad maybe we can go with an open shelving i heard that it's really nice i need a light <laughs> this house is so dark and now that's much better i've never used this eco lifestyle bag before so i'm just going to leave it like that okay we are going to start decorating we are going to have a wood deck i feel like it's nice and then we can go for the wall what do you have Rico? oh i want this kind of tile on my kitchen is it nice is it tacky i don't know but i mean like when you're cooking you're gonna want some kind of a backsplash this for the toilet for the bathroom okay we have to focus here guys i guess we can continue the oh my god it's going to be nice everywhere okay so i have just uh take a look at contemporary interior design and it is fancy so we are going to switch it up a little bit and 
we are going to remove this industrial look and we are going to change it with a more contemporary style like this kind of thing because it's pretty clean from what i saw i'm not the expert again and also the same window we are going to put it here and for the top part we are just going to use the plain long base game window this one it's not that long okay guys we don't have anything so we're just gonna have to go with this one so give me a quick sec here guys because i have just gonna be doing a little bit of landscaping and cutting this part is a little bit tricky so i'm just going to speed it up as you guys can see here i am doing the landscaping usually how i do it is i take a look at the surrounding and i pick the similar trees and then I put it around my house and also the bushes as well and then I will do a couple of terrain painting here and there to make it more rela realistic and blend more nicely and also as I'm building and doing the landscape I realized that this house is not in contemporary style I started this video thinking that I'm going to do it in that style but I don't think that's gonna happen so yeah so here is the front of our house. I already did a little bit of landscaping. Just going to put it out there. This is not going to be a contemporary house. This is going to be a, an eco lifestyle house. So we are going to scrap off that, that contemporary style <laughs> out of the title. We are just going to make it a house that I would want to live in. Oh my god, I love this floor. I use it all the time for the wall we can go for the white okay so anyway I was thinking we can put in a table this kind of table oh this can be this can go in the living room a chair to put it here planter box oh upstairs we can put it upstairs yes and in that case we can have a couple of this this table here and the water collector and definitely have a bathtub this color is nice this is a good dining table i'm just going to put everything out okay give me another second here guys i am just going to take all pretty much all of the item from the item list to my living room and everywhere because to be honest with you this is my first time building with eco lifestyle because i just got this pack like a couple of days ago so i was so excited i cannot pick what item i want to use so i just take them out all of them and then later on we are going to go through them all and then choose which one that we want to use in our build and that's going to be it but for now you guys are going to see me hoarding all of these items well at least it looks like this family just moved in right i am done picking all of the items that i want to put in the house this family just moved in here they have a bunch of things that they want to fit in in their new house so i'm going to start with this a walkway and shoe rack here this here this one yes oh my god this is a very beautiful rug in here as a decoration this sofa maybe a mismatch one yellow one as well i really love the color palette because they go together even though they're not the same color oh oh we can have this this here this tv this art right here the white one maybe there okay maybe this one we're going to go to the bathroom a floor mat tiles tiles i like this one because it's not shiny then we can pick the wall maybe this yes towel paper and everything i feel like this is fitting for the bathroom maybe white just gonna put everything out first okay so that's the bathroom done the living room is pretty much almost done i want to do the toddler's bedroom first i feel like we have two kids so this family has two kids so one toddler and one kids i was thinking the layout is pretty much like this play table right here this is the dollhouse that they had when they were a kid and now it's passed down to their siblings i think the stickers can go there with the other parent stuff you know yeah i was thinking like that the aquarium can go here yes the bookshelf here maybe okay we can make it like that the door here would be nice and then dining table here 
actually like this one. I prefer this color. Okay, so it's going to be like that. Oh, we can have it here. And then for the kitchen, we're going to need a cabinet, a countertops. These countertops. Okay, maybe we can continue this thing to like the island. Okay, maybe we can have the fridge there. Oh, we can have another window here. Yeah, so they can look outside. Okay, we are definitely gonna use this wall. It can be like a feature wall kind of thing. Is this the matching one? Yep, it is the matching one. Looks kind of nice. We need a floor mat. My favorite floor mat is from Base Game. This one, this thing here. Yeah. And then we need curtains. Mm, in the toilet. All of the curtains are short. Okay, we're just gonna put this list right here. Also for the top floor, a kids rug. It brightens up the area instantly. Maybe we can have this in blue. Oh my god, yes, it's so pretty. Okay, I feel like this is nice. So the top floor, the messy part. Okay, this is going to be there. Maybe we can use the gray, but the white. We are going to keep it there. Oh, this is good for the kids' room. Yes, maybe this so the kids can have a bookshelf, which is quite short. Okay, this thing here. The bedside table, the chair, chair. Candles here. We have some perfume there. And these are gonna go here. Maybe we can use it here. The chair here. This chair. Okay, we are just that kind of person who has everything. Okay, so I feel like they can have a nice sitting area out here with a small table. I want every color of the chair. You know, you can just chill like that. Okay, we can have it like that, right? Rock in the bedroom. The toilet can go here. Toilet paper! And then this can just go here. Okay, we can just move the toilet here. The shower here. The toilet can go here, yes. And then we can move the window there. Okay, this is nice, right? And then we can have a very big sink. It's pretty good. I like it. We have a big mirror. Maybe we can put this one in. This house is almost done, okay? Oh, we can have this kind of thing. Oh my god, though. This is so big, but it's pretty. Ceiling lights. Maybe this can be above the dining table. Maybe here. This one can be near the chair. Oh, we need a door. Okay. I think this is nice. Oh, we can have like a collection of colors. Not bad at all. Green wall here. Oh yeah, that's nice. Okay. We are done with our house. So I already bring in a family to move into our house. So here is the front yard of our house. We have like a woodworking table there, a birdhouse, lots of plants. So when you enter this house, you are going to be greeted by this hallway. And here is a couple of shoe rack and also a chair. So when you are putting on your shoe, you can sit down there. You can put your keys there. I'm gonna and when you enter, there's the bathroom in the front and there's the living area. So we're going to check out the bathroom first. So I put in the this rack because I feel like it's fitting. It's like bedding and towels and things like that. I also put on a couple of things up there. This is the the what the waterfall i don't know we call it that sink is it the sink yeah the sink so we are just going to get out and see the rest of our house this is our kitchen it's actually a clean nice kitchen because i don't want to put in too much clutter here is the dining table with the beautiful lamp and this is our living area I also put some postcard on the wall. So this is the living area. I love this house. It's really clean and the kids already settling in her room. This is the room for the kids and the toddler. So there's a kid's bed with this art. Uh, also a wardrobe. <laughs> And also this is gonna be the crafts table for the kids and also this is the toddler's bed I love this bed. It's so beautiful. So we are going to go upstairs now So here is our parents bedroom. There's like an easel so they can build their skills Also the table they have a walk-in wardrobe. This is the bathroom. Um, I really love this countertop as the sink 
Okay, so let's go out to the balcony. I put on this many chairs so they can invite their friends, they can hang out on the rooftop and talk about their eco lifestyle. Thunder boxes here and also this table, I don't know what for, I forgot. And also they have this table for the flower bouquet thingy. And then this is their water collector and also the this table. I love this table. The little details with the lights at the top there, it's so pretty. A couple of planter boxes on the wall and then another table. So here is our final two bedroom house using just base name and eco lifestyle. I'm going to upload this to the gallery under the username Blinala. So that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoy it. If you like this video, don't forget to like it and also subscribe to my channel. And if you guys have any ideas, challenges that you want me to do or any requests of anything, you can just leave it in the comments down below. On that note, I will see you next time and I hope you're having a nice day and I will see you really really soon. Bye bye!